It's your time. Call me, call me, call me, Junior. 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 Initiating the first ever Shin Megami Tensei MLB draft for the New York Yankees, led by me, Soren, and the Baltimore Orioles, led by <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Yeah. How the rules are. So it's one any any SMT demon, any demon, any figure that's ever been available for use in a party in any I SMT game will be assigned to each of the positions of baseball, pitcher, catcher, center fielder, blah blah blah. It will also be one wild card slot where you can choose not only from SMT, but from any media property or any real life person living or dead. I mean, I forgot about that. Yeah, what? <laughs> you don't have your, you don't have your wild card slot. I don't. That's crucial. I just have the Damn. <laughs> well, I'll think of something. Feel free. By the end of this. All right. So, did you find the the coin flip while I was doing that? Okay, uh, I'll take tails. Okay. Uh... All right, it's tails. You got tails. All right, tails. Here we go. A lot of pressure on me right off the bat. Pitcher. All right, so I think this one's pretty obvious. Pitcher, most important position in baseball. You gotta have someone reliable, strong arm, a lot of a lot of staying power. <laughs> what? What? All right, no, I can lose the choice. All right. <laughs> Shit. That's why for my my first my first round pick. Picture of the New York Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Will be Oliver the Chimp. <laughs> Can we get a picture of Oliver the Chimp, please? A PNG, if possible, but anything. <laughs> I really, yeah, I, right. I didn't yeah. want to go first with this one because I knew it was going to be a good one. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, uh, God damn! I didn't even think I didn't of like Atma avatars or anything. We, I think we probably, we probably both kept it traditional here. But yeah, Oliver the chimp he has all the strength of a chimpanzee, and if <laughs> you will remember correctly, uh, a go. chimp, a <laughs> adult chimpanzee has enough arm strength. To uh, <laughs> rip the arms off of an adult woman, so I'm pretty sure he could be clocking out, out some fucking 96 mile per hour fastballs down there. Probably gonna have to teach him how to do like a slider or a knuckleball, but uh, I think as far as like pure unadulterated potential, Oliver's gonna be the way to go here. <laughs> I think he's a really good prospect for the New York Yankees. <laughs> it really, this really feels like a, a Yankees uh, draft pick. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me. Oh fuck! It's a. Is this a web P? Let me see. Yeah, it should be a JPEG. It's open for picture. My own I might just have to save it. Let's see. Yeah, I almost died there, Kenzie. Oh shit! Yeah, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh god! Throughout the entire build-up, I thought you were going to choose uh, my own choice. Well, first, uh, let me let me add um, let me add Oliver right. to the screen first. Let me do the image. Add source. Add a new source. Browse Oliver. <laughs> um, where the fuck is he? There he is, Oliver the chimp. It's a big motherfucker. <laughs> let me shrink him down so I can he can fit. It's gonna be pretty small images because I got to fit all of them. There you go. Number one pick, Oliver the Chimp. Red yeah, pants version. Red. <laughs> yeah. A red swagger diaper. Alright. Your turn, Baltimore Orioles. Alright. Uh, for pitcher, I thought, you know... Better find someone who looks like he'd be really good throwing a ball. Mm -hmm. Who actually handles balls. In the design, so I really only had one choice. 
and the choice I thought you were going to make yourself, and that's Lou. I did consider Lou too. It's a solid choice. It's a really solid choice. He is one of the only <laughs> demons that comes with Ball uh, included. Yeah. So Ball included. I think he can definitely do some good, uh, some good trick plays, some good, good slider. Probably a probably a really good breaking curveball too. Probably like a three inch, <laughs> three inch breaking ball probably. Yeah, like I looked through the other demons and was like, didn't see a single one. Yeah, I couldn't think of any either. My rationale at the beginning was just trying to think of like a demon with a really strong arm. I was trying to think if there's like any demons that have like asymmetrically one giant arm or something, and there probably was. But then I saw Oliver and I was like, oh yeah, Oliver, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. All right, so let's get Lou up there. <clears throat> Man. Uh, baseball, if you want to know how baseball works, um, uh, it's, it would take too long to explain to you right now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, did you have any backups? Pitcher? I did not have any back. I don't have any backups at all except for the wild card ones. So if we end up clashing, we're going to have to do some pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty all my, all my feet thinking. Well, I, yeah, I had a backup for pitcher because I thought, like, Lou is too obvious. It was a good one. It was definitely all on the list for me. Yeah. My backup was uh, Prometheus. Not bad. Yeah, bo uh, like a ball of fire. Yeah. A crazy, like, fastball, probably. Here we go. He's throwing that hot fire. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, next position, catcher, right? Catcher, yes. All right, next one. Another figure right. from uh, Celtic mythology. Wait, you coin flip. We oh, do I have to keep coin flipping? Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize. Alright. So, uh, you call it yours, unless we're just going to keep doing tails and stuff. Okay. Tails, there you go. Tails, alright. Alright, so uh, my my pick for Catcher. Another figure from uh, Celtic mythology. Pretty solid one. No jokes this time. Probably not a good idea uh, to have only one woman on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, spoilers for the rest of my list, I guess. We're going to take a... Uh, a demon that is basically already in a catching, a catcher's pose. I'm gonna go with Scatha for my catcher here. I think that's gonna be a solid one. Not gonna blow her knees out because she just kind of floats all the time. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, probably. Oh. Probably definitely has enough upper arm strength to make those long throws from a, uh, from home plate. You know, second base, first base doesn't matter. Definitely. Absolutely. Throughout. Yeah. Anyway. Trying to steal second base. Oh, yeah. Super reliable. And probably also do the uh, Salmon Leap. If that needs to come into play yeah. at any point. Uh, the best fishing minigame, I think, is the one from Link's Awakening. That's a pretty good one, yeah. My favorite is the one from uh, Digimon World. That was my first exposure to a fishing game in, an, in a JRPG. I think fishing minigames are total bullshit. I think they're not great, usually. I like the ones in level 5 games, that's because they go, like, needlessly in depth like with them. Animal Crossing is not bad either. Yeah, that one seems pretty relaxing. A lot of variety, too. Alright, can we get a, a picture of Scotha up here, though? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, how about I start using the assets from SMT4? Yeah, might as well. That's where those are available. But a second. So let me get my chat box uh, in front of Oliver instead of behind it. There you go. I was thinking, like, yeah, Lou is very multi-skilled as far as deities go, so I figured he could, uh, he could also cover other positions if necessary. You could design designate it or if you need if you need one. Yeah. Baseball basically, like, the one team is actually. Throwing the ball to the batters of a batter of the opposing team. Essentially. The idea is uh, the pitcher is good enough that the batters can't actually hit the ball. But, you know, that they usually are good enough to hit the ball. So that's where the other position players on the team come in. So uh, mm -hmm. if the batter hits the ball into play. And then the other players can scoop it up and throw 
the ball to first base before the, the uh, batter reaches the base, then that counts as an out. You gotta know how to take a, a nice pat on the ass too. There's gonna be a lot of that going on. Lots. Of, it's mostly about uh, chewing big league chew, adjusting your jock strap, and just patting other men's asses. That's uh, spitting a lot. Pretty big part of baseball. Yeah. Kind of just like being out in the outfield or on shortstop or whatever, just kind of pretending that you're doing something. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Alright, what's your pick for catcher then? Uh, my pick for catcher was... Or is... Uh, Spriggan. Spriggan, nah, but he, see, he has catcher energy to him. I don't know why. Yeah. I guess because he's crouching like that. But uh... Crouching. Looks like he's made of stone or something. Yeah. He's going to stop some balls. Oh, definitely. I think if he slid into Spriggan, probably would break your shin in like four yeah. different places. Not bad. Pretty good one. Pretty it's strong uh, Celtic representation so far. The the the, the ball stopper. The, yeah. He's the ball stopper. I would not want to slide into this fucking guy. Yeah, basically what Pizza Cotta said, batter hit ball, the pitcher throws, and ball in air, batter run, pitcher chase ball, chase batter. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly you got baseball. it. Damn, what a succinct explanation. Yeah. Okay, first base. I think this is going to be contentious. Uh, another one, coin flip. What's your call? Uh, I'll do tails again. <laughs> I'm a tails kind of guy. It's tails. It's tails. Tails. God so damn, go. dude. I'm on a streak right now. Uh, all right. First base. Let me see what my pick was. All right. This is um gonna be a bit of a controversial pick because I am I'm opting to have my first base player also do double duty, triple duty, in fact, on second base and third base. So for first base, uh, and second base, and third base, citing the precedent set by the 1946 World Series in which Bugs Bunny played multiple positions by himself, uh, and that was legal and nobody called him on it, we're gonna have uh, <laughs> Huang Long as my first baseman, second baseman, and third baseman. Uh, you, can, you notice how he has those little arms holding the elemental orbs. And is uh right. like running across his body. We're gonna put uh catching mitts on all of those. Uh so he'll just have his front on first base, and then like his midsection on second base. And then on the third the third base, it'll just be like uh, his little his little tail with a, a catcher's mitt on it. That that uh... means that being said, I will also be selecting second and third basemen, but they'll just be like pity picks. Okay. So yeah. Uh, that's uh yeah, that's a uh, that's that's. There we go. <laughs> yeah, like my here. Bugs Bunny precedent that I'm setting here. You proved that it was. Yeah, illegal. I'm not sure what to think about that. Well, I'm just trying to imagine Huang Long snaking around third base. I don't know. I think that would be. I think that would be illegal. Because... Probably would be. But also, if he's stretching all along the third base, and so if the ball's hit down the left field line and he catches it at third base, and his body is long enough to touch first base, then the batter, the runner, is immediately out. And I think he will be—he will be floating off the ground high enough that he won't technically be touching uh, the base. So he will have to go like to the ground in order to like make contact and have that count. Okay. There we go. Long, long. So I guess maybe he floats down too slowly. Uh, hopefully he's quick enough, but yeah. There you go. Long, long. My first baseman and also my second baseman and third baseman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. All right. There right. you go. All right. My first baseman is a. Uh, oh, this was a pretty good popular choice, also from the NBA draft. Uh, we did a couple, I don't know, was that a year ago? <laughs> About a month ago, ago yeah. Uh, someone with a lot of reach. Nice, you going uh, with Tanaga there? Yeah, it's going with Tanaga. Tanaga, not bad. Fuck, that was, he was my left fielder, <laughs> gonna have to <laughs> yeah, right, use yeah, another yeah. one for that. Yep, you gotta get backups. Shit, we won't be doing left fielder for a while though. Yeah, it's a great, it's an evergreen choice. I knew he was gonna get scooped up. Didn't realize it would be this early though. 
He's a, definitely a first round drafter, I think. Draft Ex pick. Extremely athletic demon, Naga and his brother Rashi Naga. Yeah. Because, like, all right, so he can he can hold the bag, the first base bag, put on the base. He's got extended reach with his extra long arms, right? It's pretty good. And take less time for him to catch any throw to first base. He'll be great. He won't be missing any throws, that's for sure. There you go. He does have those little goofy legs that are just kind of up in the air. I wonder if he can walk on his legs or if it's just all arms. I'm going with the assumption that, yes, he can just walk. Yeah, that would be a huge inconvenience otherwise. But Shasta would also be good. I was not thinking about if demons, though. Yeah, I, I only went through the demons I had art for. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. All right, what's Still, the next? Still, my head hurts from laughing so hard at the Oliver reveal. Pretty good. All right, we'll do a cool, cool again. Uh, I'm going to go with heads again. On the details, yeah. Heads, okay. All right, I get the first pick on the second base. There pick. you go. And my choice was... Uh, Uh, yeah, okay. My choice was Amazon. Amazon, not bad. Just for total, it's a total athletic pick. I was going to say she has a very athletic build. Fancy. I was worried about our female choices because, uh, you know, professional baseball players, there's no way this player is going to go, uh, go through the season without being sexually harassed. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, the talent this strong, they're 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 gonna get uh, signed anyway. Yeah, I think so. I think the benefits definitely outweigh the cost here. Let's see. I think Amazon would probably just kill anyone. I think so. Too. Yeah, but I think a lot of these demons would just kill each other <laughs> if they were forced <laughs> to play a game of regulation baseball. <laughs> like one of my picks for catcher was gonna be uh, troll, and I was gonna just say that he could. <laughs> Just, I, I would have uh, coached him to, uh, if anyone slides, successfully slides into first base, I would just have him uh, eat the runner f head first, and that would <laughs> probably <laughs> discourage that kind of behavior. Your head first slides into the home plate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gaming time. We're gaming right now, Big Batar. This is the ultimate game. <laughs> We're doing our MLB picks, so fucking get strapped in. <laughs> yeah, we got ten more hours of this. Yeah. All right, so that's second base, Amazon. Wait, oh, I, yeah, I, I put him on my team on accident. Yeah. Like the Yankees stole the, something from the Orioles yet again. <laughs> Shit, and it's, uh, I knew it. Second base. All right, there you go. All right, second base. Like right, I said. Yeah, like I said, my second base and third base picks are just going to be pity picks. Uh, I'm not going to be stealing anything too valuable from you here. So, uh, second base, it's going to be Harry Jack. Just going to have him, let him have some fun on second base. Harry Jack. Okay. And give him some, give him like a tennis ball or something. You can just uh, hang around underneath Wong Long, maybe. I don't know. He's a cute little dog. Why? Is that why? He's a cute dog? Yeah, exactly. The cute doggy. Where's his? I think that'll help uh, curb the probably increasingly negative opinion of the New York Yankees. Have a, a cute dog out in there. It's like a cute doggy on the team. It's like, look, the New York Yankees aren't evil. <laughs> we have Harry Jack on our yeah. team. Yeah. They, okay. I I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Big image boost for the Yankees. Where is the Harry Jack PNG? I did, it's a big blue dog. I did consider when to go on the basis uh, of him constantly raising the roof, which would in turn yeah. raise team morale. <laughs> but <laughs> he's buffing the team morale. Constantly. Yeah. Decided to go more specialized route for most positions, though. Where's Harry Jack? He's in SMT4. Hey, okay, I'm looking at this. Bus stops right now. Um, fuck it. <laughs> we need Harry Jack. The guy. Fuck it, Harry. He's in here. Oh yeah. Uh, hi. 
Check. It's the most based part of the stream. You better believe it. Uh, Why the stream is based in MLB build. <laughs> Peace. Uh, where the hell is it? Oh, Harry Jack, where art thou? I literally scanned you, Harry Jack. Looking for your profile. Oh, here he is. God damn it. Hey, there he is. My boy. That's true. Uh, we just got rid of the Cleveland Indians for the Cleveland Guardians. Is that what they went with? Cleveland Guardians? Cleveland Guardians. Yeah. Weird transition. Apparently, uh, like some statues that exist in Cleveland, there's some precedent for it. Huh. Here we go. Here we Jack. So this is second base again? Yeah, it's second base. Damn, look at that. That's a good scan. A solid Harry Jack right there. The bad one. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Alright, position five. Uh, third base. Oh, this is no flash baseball game. This is the realest baseball draft ever. This is the SMT, the first national SMT MLB draft that we're doing right now. As you can see, the New York Yankees have drafted Oliver, Scotha, Huang Long, and Harry Jack, while the Baltimore Orioles have <laughs> Lou, <laughs> Spriggan, Benaga, and Amazon. Are you ready for the third base? Yeah. Wait, right, wait no, you have to do second base. Or did you go... Oh, wait, no, I did second. I did a uh, second base, sorry. Yeah, third third base. Amazon. I'll do a... I'm going to call... I'll do heads this time. It's heads. All right. Heads, fuck yeah, dude. Four for third five. Base. Third base. All right, this is another one of my uh, pity picks because Wong yeah. Wong will be the one actually covering this position. So we're going to go with a, another, uh, another harmless mascot type figure that hasn't quite... At his day in the sun yet. We can go with Hamza for third base. Hamza. Hamza. For anyone who doesn't like Hamza dogs or, or had a bad experience with a dog in the past, we got Hamza for you. Huh. It's, uh. Yeah. I don't think Hamza is going to really uh, take those <clears throat> long throws to first base very well. Probably not, no. <laughs> I think if you, uh,. If he if he got that fucking throw from first base, he would just like be become atomized into like a tuft of, of feathers, like that fucking pigeon. <laughs> yeah. Well, on the other hand, if Huang Long is indeed playing first base, yeah, so it's like okay. body all the way to third base. Hamsa can just kind of use his bill to like. Uh, Throw the ball up a little bit into one of Huang Long's claws. Yeah, right there. just gotta use his uh, use his heads, his head there. Little duck head. Damn, TMS is SMT backward, just like Nilbog is goblin spelled backward. Oh my god, I had no idea. Sorry, your dad. Your draft pick, though. So. Damn, we're not draining enough enough Budweisers during this draft. Yeah. I can't get him to save onto my desktop. Let me see. Problems with Hamza. Hamza, there you go. And that should do it. Where'd Hamza go? It's a little one. There he is. He's just a little guy. Little guy. Right, Hamza on little... third base. You probably put him on third base. All right, I didn't even think about actually just putting them on the fucking positions. I guess there's no outfield in this. Well, there is an outfield, it's just a really small diagram in general. Long Long was just an excellent, excellent fucking scout, <laughs> scouting move from the uh, New York Yankee scouts. Yeah, honestly, I can't disagree with that. Yeah. It's just, it's a baller. It's like meta, four-dimensional chess move. They saw him, they saw him playing a uh, shortstop uh, during a, like, high school JV ball. <laughs> they were like, all right. Gotta get this guy. Alright, well, your third baseman, ironically enough, is the lowest level avian. 
And my pick is the highest level Avian in Ooh, Garuda. Not bad. That's Garuda fine. is going to be very uh, dexterous. Third base is a pretty hard position to play. It's WS. Yeah, I never wanted to play third base when I played baseball. You gotta be quick enough to get line drives. You gotta have power to throw. Was it like it's, it's like a ridiculously long way from third base to third base? Yeah, it's pretty base. insane. Yeah. Let me get that guy. I was yeah. Any any flying demon was gonna be a good pick. Uh, I think I focused most of my flying picks on the the outfield. Yep. Let's see. Let's get him on there. Yeah, I wish we were. Wish we could play a weird flash baseball game with all these guys in it. <laughs> long, long. Yeah, he was in all those proactive commercials when he was a teenager. It was really awkward. <laughs> there you go. Garuda. All right, what's the next position? Shortstop. Shortstop. All right. Do you want another point right, flip? Call, I'm gonna call Tails. Gotcha. Oh, it's Tails. Good. I bet. Uh, what do you got? My, uh, you know, shortstop. You need all the stops. Like, need, <laughs> that's a good like, one. <laughs> <laughs> You need the equivalent of a demon Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, I will. Well, let me let me remind you. You do have a wild card pick that you haven't chosen from your, um, your pre existing list, so don't forget about that. That that's for any position. Any position, yeah. And you've already gone yeah, through all your infields, so I wanted to. Um, well, like I, uh, I thought that was just like an extra pick at the very end of it. Uh, no, I was just gonna say like any for any position you could do. I want it to okay, be, well, like, for a specific position, at least. I, I mean, I'm going to go with demons anyway. Yeah, I go ahead. So. All right. For shortstop, pack a tongue here. Not bad. Got all the fucking arms. Any multi-arm demon is going to be big. He was definitely yeah. on my draft yeah. list. Uh, There's no flying multi-arm demons. Plus, you can tell he's already on human growth hormones, so they're not going to have to start a program for him. <laughs> Just drafted the Mark McGuire of demons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably a good hitter, too. Yeah, probably. Unless he lacks coordination because it's just spread around so many different arms. <laughs> we need a new manager. This guy stinks. <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> there you go. I didn't draft, I don't, didn't draft any uh, birds that are on fire, sadly. Yeah, me either. I don't think I have a favorite flying type demon that I can think of off the top of my back. Maybe Garuda. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Alright, who's your shortstop? Alright, shortstop. Where do we... Oh, fuck. <laughs> How fucking stupid this one. Alright, shortstop, <laughs> this is my, um... This is my wild card pick. Okay. Uh. Alright. <laughs> I can't even do the fucking preamble, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, so shortstop. I am <laughs> declaring my wild card pick for shortstop. This is a real life figure. A legendary <laughs> figure in the annals of baseball. He's definitely lost some popularity in recent years. I kind of oh, no. the track. Not uh, not quite as beloved as he was before 2014, but you know him, <laughs> legendary player. But the Seattle Mariners, Texas Rangers, and New York Yankees, it's Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> That's right. The New York hey, Yankees Rod. have drafted Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Specific. I want to. I want to. <laughs> I wanna, and I wanna specify, this is Alex Rodriguez while he was on steroids, not while he wasn't. Specifically, <laughs> specifically steroids, A-Rod, alright? He's gonna have a supply to share with the rest of the team. We're gonna get Harry Jack on a, on a program. It's gonna be, <laughs> gonna work out really well for us. Is this while he was dating J-Lo? Yes, of course. Okay. We're not gonna have JLo at our fundraiser. It's gonna be a break. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
I think Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> would probably be <laughs> mid tier at best as far as levels go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. He has some social advantages. <laughs> yeah. It's A Rod, baby. He was number two on the list of greatest shortstops that I looked up. That's how I got the idea. <laughs> Who's number one? Uh, it was someone from, like, Reintegration Baseball with, like, an insane what? insane name, like Hung Mason or something. Oh, Mason. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Right. I think that Hung was Mason. it. I'm gonna look up Hung Mason. Wait, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just getting a bunch of, like, Pinterest articles for hanging Mason jars when I look that up. Let's look up greatest shortstop. Oh, Honus Wagner. There you go. Honus Wagner. Yeah. Oh, Hung Mason was Honus Wagner? <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I got that have, from. Have you never heard of Honus Wagner before? I've heard his name. I didn't know he was a shortstop, though. Okay. He's on the, the famous uh, baseball card that was produced in, like, like two dozen or something. I don't really didn't know. This baseball card is worth millions of dollars. Holy shit. The fucking name like that. I can't blame him. Honus Wagner. I didn't know God damn. I would have I would have drafted Honus Wagner. <laughs> would have been a good one. <laughs> would have been better than Abraham. <laughs> uh, Alright. Alright, we're moving on to uh... can, I, wait, can I get a PNG of A Rod? <laughs> you, you have it already. Alright, good. Yeah, I, I give it to you. <laughs> yeah. And the Yankees uniform, no less. Perfect. Alright, let me put him up there. Underneath Hamza. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine A Rod returning to the Yankees and finding out all these weird sh things are his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a fucking duck? He's trying to return. <laughs> we got a chimpanzee for a picture. Whole time we just blow. Like, what? A, what? <laughs> You're like Simpsons spit takes the entire time. All right, there we go, A Rod. Back on the yes. tree. <laughs> Wagner's fans stand up in the chat, definitely. <laughs> Where the Wagner stands at. <laughs> All right. Uh, left left field. Wait, did you do shortstop? Oh, no, you did. Hey, I can talk Harris. Okay. Left field. I'll call tails on that one. Tails. It is heads. All right. Damn. People are the ones that really <laughs> start to matter. And. Uh, Going, I'm kind of going by uh, how most left fields tend to be, because like most people, most players are going to be right-handed, so with their, they're going to bat right, which means they bat on the left side of the home plate, mm -hmm. facing the uh, the pitcher, right? Yeah, I always pull to the left field whenever I go to like the batting cage or whatever. It's like the right. default, basically. Yep. So most balls are going to be hit to the left. So yeah, I chose for field someone who can jump really high, and that's uh, Kukulin. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> I was wondering when he would come up. I thought he would either say him or Orashinaga. I'm gonna say, mm. damn, pretty fucking good one we got. God, people, student up. versus teacher. Yep. Cool, yep. <laughs> and that's been is, yeah, drafted to the Baltimore is, Orioles. His teacher, I can't believe the New York Yankees. Yeah. Such a what a betrayal. Such a bummer. Oh damn. Stop liking her once she joined the Yankees. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> damn. Sorry, I ruined Scott for you. <laughs> well, that happens to me in real life. It's like I like this player. But, oh man, they joined the Yankees. I don't like him anymore. That's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> He's an asshole now. Fuck all those guys, yeah. That's a good one though. Just uh he can be the only one not wearing cleats. You can give him the uh the Air Jordans, the, the Max Air yeah. Jordans <laughs> to maximize his vertical leap. Honestly, I think the the Yankee pinstripes make everyone look worse. They do, they're not they're pretty goofy looking. Alright, let me get that PNG up there. <clears throat> But he's but he's feeling the hurt knowing that he, he was drafted after A Rod. <laughs> Here we go. If you have an actual team, your own home team in the American League East, 
and you're don't like the Yankees, that means you hate the Yankees. So. <laughs> yeah. I do not have a team. We have the baby cakes. Well, we had the baby cakes. I don't think we even have them anymore. <laughs> That's, that was a bummer. Yeah. Was a tra tragedy. So I couldn't pick the baby cakes, unfortunately. Alright, what's the next position? Center field? Well, you didn't pick your left field. Oh, right. Oh, fuck. That's the one that I was going to do uh, Te Naga for. Well, in the absence of Te Naga, we got to go with his brother, Ashi Naga. He's got, the, he's got the legs. He's got the leaps. He can make those. Okay. He's, I mean, the legs are the same length as Te Naga's uh, arms. So essentially the same advantage. I think that's that's good. Plus, we're going to have a good brother versus brother narrative there. Kinda ah, there's so much. <laughs> yeah. Dude, ESPN's gonna have a fucking field day with this. Uh, yeah, imagine the promos with like, yeah. <laughs> like the the Conic PNG is just clashing. <laughs> Talk about death battle. Yeah. All right, here we go. I should not off with like sickles on his legs. He does. Yeah, he's ready. If they need to uh to harvest wheat, he's also gonna be ready. <laughs> they can start growing wheat in left field. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> A lot of advantages to the pull from here. Yeah. All right, the same. Ashinaga and Naga are like, just so good at sports. They are. They're incredible. I wish there was another sport we could do a draft of, so we could draft them again. Mm. Hockey. Hockey. I don't. I know about as I much of as hockey. hockey. Yeah. I don't even like hockey. Yeah, I don't either. Where's Ashinaga? There he is. There were Nagas at Anime Expo? Really? <laughs> what? Ooh. Let me shrink him down. Anime. He's sticking up a lot of real estate on the screen right now. Here you go. It's one of those later scans, because no one ever picked Ashinaga or Tanaga for me to scan. Oh yeah, that's know. right. Goddamn, we should have... If only we had seen this coming. <laughs> Alright, so that's left field. Let's uh, let's do another coin toss. I'll do, uh, I'll do heads this time. eight. Position eight, center field. The center field. Oh, center field, yeah. So you're gonna do what's your call? I did heads. Heads, okay. Let's see. It's tails. All right. And there you go. So there's a lot of ground to cover. Like center fielder is usually the kind of the person in charge of the outfield. Everyone defers to them. If yeah. Ball halfway through or whatever. Um, so you need a lot of speed. Gotta be reliable. Yeah, I like, I've, there's one speed demon I would draft in a second, and it would have to be Turbo Granny. Oh, fuck yeah. I knew that's where you were going. As soon as you said speed, I was like, damn. Turbo Granny is lost. Yeah. Turbo Granny. It's either, it's either actual speed demon or Turbo Granny. Yeah. And speed demon is riding those yeah. sweet ass motorcycles. You gotta. It's gonna be a. Probably won't let him tear up the, uh, the turf like that. I think that's gonna be against regulations. Yeah. yeah. At least, at least oh, more against the regulations than uh, allowing a chimp to play first base. I mean, a uh, pitcher, but you know. Yeah. So you put uh, Ashinaga on my team. No, I didn't. No, oh, whoops. Let me get that off. I was like, he's got to go with his brother, obviously. There you go. That's All right, let me, let me... Brother versus brother. It's horrifying. Avian versus avian. Horrifying the Teacher games that we play. Character. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, where'd Turbo Ground? I gotta save this one too, huh? There you go. Turbo Granny, get on stream. Welcome to Streamlabs, Turbo Granny. Finally. There she is. She made it. <laughs> I love just Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> in the middle of all this. <laughs> yeah, I knew it would be good. Don't forget about your, uh, your wild card. I'll, I'll let you do yours as like an extra if you want, since you, uh, you remembered it too late. Okay. All right, that's center field. I went to, I went a pretty different direction. I didn't emphasize speed so much as a uh, reach for mine. Kind of following up mm. on on Ashinaga here, or well, Tainaga when I originally had him drafted. So for center yeah. field, I think it's gonna be a a good sight seeing him right out there, right in the middle of the field. It's gonna be Sandalfon. He uh, Sand he's over okay. five hundred meters tall. Dude, it's straight. So Holy you, shit. You think you're gonna crank a fucking home run over Sandalfon? Think again, <laughs> dude. It's not gonna happen. 
You'd also pick up like any slack for the other other two outfielders if need be. So yeah, he's huge. Yeah, I've got a lot of sheer size on my my side of the the team at this point. I, I don't think you should resize this uh, image of Salafon either. Let me see. Emphasize his uh, this massive. <laughs> yeah, good point. Brain. Let's see, we find that thing. Is there actually a 200 clowner an hour fogey? <laughs> Damn. Ugh, that's a fucking fogey oh. right there. I can't remember. There you go. Oh, I forgot to make this joke. Send the fun on my team. We will have an angel in the outfield. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there you go. Damn. You can, you can cover up uh, Ashinaga a little bit. All right, next position, right field, I assume. Field, yeah. final position. I'll do tails uh, this time. Tails, one flip. It's tails. Tails, nice. All right, this is. Uh, I guess this is gonna be my only aerial pick, really. I thought I had more, but unless Hamza can fly, this is gonna be the only one. We got a. Uh, we got reach, in the form of sheer size, sheer vertical leap. Now we're gonna go with flying capacity. None other than Jersey Devil in the right field. Jersey, <laughs> Jersey Devil. Devil. Wow. It's his day at last. Jersey Devil. We got two, two, uh, two urban legend demons going against each other here with Turbo Granny and Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil, uh, a good old American favorite for the good old American pastime. <laughs> he probably wears his glove on his face or something. <laughs> He just catches the ball in his mouth. Yeah. Ja, ja, where's ja, ja, is he? I'm trying to find it. Ja, where the is this? She, okay, AB, around Shiva. There he is. 181, Jersey Devil. Hell yeah, there he is. Boy, this is the only time in modern history that Jersey Devil will be picked for anything. It's not like some bad show on the Travel Channel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where's Jersey Devil at? <clears throat> nope, I see him. There you go. That big ass Jersey Devil. Yeah, when you said Flitter, I was expecting my pick on, uh, honestly. Someone who also kind of floats, but, uh, holding some of the balls already and that's zitsy middle oh yeah shit someone mentioned that one last time and this time too <laughs> we didn't never even thought about it damn it's a good one i never even thought about the fact that she's just holding balls damn it's a good pick almost thought for a pitcher at first <clears throat> wait what was that almost uh consider her for pitcher at first oh yeah yeah two, eh. I don't think that's a good utilization of her multiple arms. You really only need two arms to pitch. Yeah. There we go. It's a good one. But five balls out there, she's gonna catch it. Absolutely. Although she is, she doesn't have eyes, so I don't know how good of a judge she'll be of, of live balls. True. There you go. Just have to hope that she can sense it. Sometimes the Jersey Devil just beats your your uh, your wife. So. What price you gotta pay for MLB goodness like this? All right, let's see. Uh, I think my last one. Uh, Huang Long in the infield. Those are pretty good swerves. Not so opinion. bad, yeah. Hmm. All right, we have um. I don't know if you remember, but I also said designated hitter for the last yes. position. All right, so you want to do a uh, last league? So yeah, uh, that's a necessary position. All right, I'll call Tails for the last one. Tails. It's Tails. Tails. Sick. All right, here we go. Fucking last, last pick for the New York Yankees 2022 World Series. We're going. And we're bringing Albion <laughs> with us. Albion. Albion. That's right. He's already got a baseball bat. He's got... God damn it. He's... I was trying to think of something with the club. Oh, yeah, that's right. And he's that's got a... the build. <laughs> he's got four little posses with him. He's just a solid, solid hitter, I think. I think he's going to be a good cleanup hitter if we need him. 
or like launch that ball. I think he's one of the few demons that can launch a ball above Sandalfon's head if he really needed to. So I was thinking of uh, Oni, but I thought Oni is a little too weak, honestly. Yeah, not quite. Not quite on the level of Albion. Another uh, advantage of Albion is that he has his dick all the way out, so it's gonna we're gonna get out, get, get in front of a lot of controversies if we just if we just hang him loose to begin with. I think <laughs> Albion dick out controversy. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big subheading on his Wikipedia page once the season's over. <laughs> Here we go. All I right. can see the Yankees drafting someone like that. Yeah, he's a power player. You gotta get him. The character head? Oh, yeah, I keep getting texts because I'm just standing still, I guess. Too bad, we're not playing this fucking game. We're doing the drafts right now. Yeah. All Are right. you doing anything? No. <laughs> All well, right. I couldn't really think of anything particularly clever for uh, DH. I went for all power. That's what you want to go with, let's yeah. see. Uh, well, I have a choice here. The uh, choice within this choice, and I think I'll go with. Ah, uh, uh, you know, I can't go with this one. I'll go with. Uh, I will. I will say before you choose. Uh, you still got your wild card slot. Uh, Sun Goku is still up for grabs, and I don't mean Wukong. I mean just Goku, <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> he was playing. No, I want, I'm going with Thor. Thor, not bad. Pretty good if you want a powerhouse. As far as the uh, the options that we had left, it's a good one. I went with. I went with the. Uh, um. SMT one remake Thor. I was gonna go with the uh, Conan the Barbarian Thor. And I thought, you know, he has swastikas on his belt. Yeah, that's gonna and, be a uh, big controversy for the Oriol Oriol. <laughs> Something that really right it's gonna really hurt their image. It's gonna probably probably completely balance out the whole A Rod thing for us. There we go. Master Therion, like he comes equipped with uh, some wood himself. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, that would pretty much negate the contra any controversy generated by Albion if we had Master Therion slinging his dick around the field. All right, so that's it. Those are all nine choices. I'll go ahead and name mine off. Uh, mine off, then you can name yours. We got for 2022, the first annual SMT MLB drafts for the New York Yankees. We've got Oliver as pitcher, Scotha shortstop, Huang Long first base, second base, third base, <laughs> Harry Jack second base also, Hamza also third base. Alex Rodriguez, shortstop. <laughs> we got we got Sandalfon as center field. Um, Ashinaga as yeah. either uh, left field, I think. Jersey field, Devil, yeah. right fielder, and Albion rounding out the numbers as designated hitter. It's a strong team I've got there. Let's hear it for the uh, the Orioles now. I can't believe it. All right, the Orioles have drafted Lou. Uh, as a pitcher, Spriggan is catcher. Uh, Tanaga for first base for the reach. Amazon second base for the agility. Garuda for third base also for the agility. Yeah. Akatang here for shortstop. Yukon is left field for the leaps. Turbo Granny in center field for the speed. Sits in middle is right field for the uh, all the all the arms and. Thor as DH for power. There you go. Pretty goddamn good. First centenarian to play outfield too. Man. It's a pretty good matchup. So Chad, who do you think would win in this, this clash of Titans? <laughs> also... Uh, go ahead. I wish we could do the polls. Do poll. Oh yeah, we never got that to work. We never got to do that. That sucks. I was gonna say, uh, I forgot to mention, but when... When I selected A Rod, uh, it like the it cut to the audience like booing, and then it cut to a shot of uh, of of a uh, Tenaga shaking his head slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. 
Yama would be a good judge. I mean, a good umpire, I think. The umps. Yeah, drafting umps. I don't know. This is enough. Yeah, I think this is good. I've seen what doing coaches do, but uh, can't think of anything. All right, do you want to do a, a wild card? Just a wild card pick for fun. Like, who would you pick uh, for your team? You could just be anybody, anybody at all outside of SNT. All right, I got an idea. This one's just for the morale, the popularity, the fun. I said it to you. Let me see. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I didn't even think about him. This is... He's a part of the compendium, too. We could have picked him. <laughs> I know he is. Shit. <laughs> could have picked Zolo, too. I wouldn't want to play that yeah. too much. All this. There we go. God damn. Let me get him on the screen. One last time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot. My boy. There you go. Shrink him down there. <laughs>